Technically, HTTP 304 is a redirect rather than an actual error. However, it can prevent you from accessing a web page. There are a few common causes. One possibility is that you have malware or a virus on your computer. Another potential reason is that your browser currently contains corrupted files. A third common cause is an issue with a third party application. Here are five potential solutions. Number one, clear your browser cache. If you're using Google Chrome, click the three dots at the top right, go to more tools and go to clear browsing data. Make sure all three things are selected and press clear data. When you're done, refresh your browser and try accessing the website again. Number two, temporarily disable your browser extensions. To do so, go to the three dots at the top and go to settings. On the left-hand side, click extensions. From here, we could toggle extensions on and off simply by pressing this little button. And if you want, you could completely remove one by pressing remove. We recommend toggling each extension off one by one, checking the site after each to see if it's now accessible. Number three, conduct a malware scan. First, it's best to ensure that you're using the latest version of Chrome. Click the three dots, go to help, and go to about Google Chrome. As you can see right here, I'm now updating Chrome to the latest version. And to finish the update, I just need to relaunch the browser. Now all we need to do is go to Chrome Settings Cleanup and press the Find button. Your browser will begin checking for any harmful software, and if any is present, you can disable or delete it entirely, and then check to see if the error persists. Number four, reset your DNS and TCP IP settings. If you're still encountering the error, the next step you can try is to flush your DNS. To do that, we're gonna go to Chrome, net-internals, slash, pound sign, DNS. And from here, we can just press clear host cache. Once you're done, try restarting your browser to reaccess the URL. And finally, number five, check your server configuration files. 304 can be a client side issue or even a server side problem. If you own the site producing the 304 status code, the final fix you can try is to check your server configuration files. This actually depends on what your server is running, so we recommend you check the blog post in the description for a detailed look at how to do this. And there you go. Hopefully you no longer have to deal with that problem. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.